Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at all of the new features you can expect to see in CMU 1.12.0, the latest release of this Wii U emulator. If you were not aware, 1.12.0 was released yesterday, April 25th, meaning that the free public release will go live on May the 2nd. Please also be aware that if you have already downloaded CMU 1.12.0, there have actually already been several updates to this latest CMU version. CMU 1.12.0b fixed an issue where Wiimote input provider was not displayed in the input settings window. 1.12.0c fixed issues with graphics packs that use custom shaders like Clarity and FPS++ from not loading correctly. And finally, CMU 1.12.0D fixed an issue where when you selected the Wiimote as your emulated controller, your emulator would crash. For best compatibility, you should realistically be using CMU 1.12.0D. You can find a download link for that down in the description of this video. Okay, so now that all of that's out of the way, let's actually move on to what has been improved in 1.12.0 over 1.11.6D. So first of all, as we can now see, the games list has seen a significant upgrade. Not only have we been given these new game icons for all of our games, you can also now move between all of your game titles using the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can also select your games by pressing the first letter of its name. For example, when I press S, it will move to Splatoon, and when I press S again, it will toggle between all of the different titles that have an S at the start of their name. You can do the same thing for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This will work in all of your titles in this games list. As well as this new feature, we can now right click on our game, and if it does not have a game profile, you can now click this button right here to create one for it. This is actually a feature that I requested, so I am quite happy that they have implemented it. We also now have the ability to see how long you've played a game for, and when the last time you played that game was. We now also have the option to refresh our games list once CMU is launched. All you need to do is right click on any game and click refresh games list. Selecting this refresh games list option will refresh the games list and add any games that have been added to your game directory folder to your CMU games list after CMU has been launched. Your games list will also no longer fully refresh every time that CMU loads. Another awesome feature in 1.12.0 is the ability to use the friends list application. Please bear in mind that in order to use this app, you are going to need to dump it from your Wii U console as with all the files for using online itself. Let's just launch this app right now and take a look at how it works. And here we are, we are now inside of the friends list app for use with the Wii U and CMU emulator. You can add and remove any friends that you wish to play your games with, either between CMU and a Wii U, or between CMU and CMU itself. The games that work in this circumstance that have been tested so far are Mario Kart 8, Splatoon, Smash Bros, Dr. Luigi, Pokken Tournament and Minecraft. The games that do not currently support the friends list features are Xenoblade Chronicles X and Fast Racing Neo. All online functionality testing was done between CMU and CMU and CMU and the original Wii U console itself. The only game that has any reported issues with all of this online functionality is Mario Kart 8. However, some of these issues may be due to poor internet connection on one of the user's parts and will need further testing by the user base. Moving on to some more general fixes in 1.12.0, you can now expect faster CMU loading times when you have a large amount of graphics packs in your graphics pack folder. If you are not aware, in previous iterations of CMU Emulator, when you had too many graphics packs in your graphics pack folder, it could delay the launching of CMU Emulator itself. We have also seen an improvement in the syntax of the settings.xml file for CMU Emulator. What this means for you, the user, is that your settings should no longer have any issues with being saved for CMU Emulator. Hopefully, this will now fully fix the issues that some CMU users were having with their game paths and game directories not being fully saved and recognized by CMU 1.11.6. Moving quickly on to some input related changes, CMU Emulator now has full native support for Wiimotes. As you can see, they have added a native controller API for the Wiimote controller itself in the CMU input window. And last but definitely not least, there have been some changes to the CPU JIT support for CMU Emulator. 
These changes are in relation to recompiled functions, so hopefully we will see a nice performance increase in CMU 1.12.0. Keep an eye on the channel over the next few days for all of my performance tests in various games. Additionally, if you want to see any games tested, leave a comment down below and I will have absolutely no problem whatsoever testing that game if I do indeed have access to it myself. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, I really do appreciate it. As always, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you want to help support the channel, you can go over to the BSOD Gaming Patreon, a link for that will be down in the description, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.